All right, today we're going to look at AVL trees. And AVL trees are a type of tree where you maintain balance by ensuring the difference in height of the left subtree and the right subtree is never more than one. We're going to go through an example, which is one of the questions in the reader, and is likely to be one of the questions that you might be asked on an exam. So you probably should practice this kind of thing. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a bunch of numbers to the AVL tree. We're going to draw our subtrees. That's important. If I ask you to add numbers to an AVL tree, make sure that you draw the subtrees and you explain what's going on. We're going to draw our subtrees, and then um, we're going to also say whether we have to do a left rotation, a right rotation, a left right, or a right left rotation. So we're going to start with 43. That's our first um, number to add. We've got root. There's nothing to do. Now we're going to add 18. Is 18 bigger than 43 or smaller than 43? Hopefully, it's smaller than 43, so it goes on the left. Then we add 22. The 22 is smaller than 43, so it goes on the left, but it's larger than 18, and it goes on the right. So now we have to calculate the difference in heights, and so we always start with the node that we've just added. On the right side of the 22, we have a height of 0. And on the left side of the 22, we have a height of 0. On the right side of the 18, we have a height of 1. And on the left side of the 18, we have a height of 0. 1 and 0, that's OK. The tree's balanced there. For the 43, on the right side, we have a height of 0. And on the left side, we have a height of 2. Our left side is greater than, more than 1 above our right side. So we have to rebalance our tree. What kind of rotation do we need to do to rebalance this tree? The imbalance is in the left child's right subtree. So we have to do a left-right rotation. So make sure that you specify that we're doing a left-right rotation. When we do that, we bring the 22 up to be the root, the 18 on the left child of the 22, the 43 on the right child of the 22. Now our tree is balanced. Next, we add a 9. Nine is less than 22, it's less than 18, and it goes to be our left child. Is this tree balanced? Our nine has zero and zero. Our 18 has one child on the left and zero children on the right. That's okay. Our 22 has two children on the left and one on the right. So that's also okay. So this tree is still balanced for an AVL tree. Now we add a 21. 21 is less than 22, so it goes on the, lef on the left. And 21 is more than 18, so it goes on the right child of the 18. Is this tree balanced? Our 18 has one node on either side. Our 22, the longest path is still 2, and 1 on the right. So it's still balanced. Now we add a 6. Here's our tree. We add a 6. Is this tree still balanced? Our 9 has 1 and 0. Our 18 has 
2 and 1, so that's balanced. And our 22, the longest path from, the, from 22 from the root to any leaf is height of 3. So height of 3 here and a height of 1 for the 43. So now our tree is unbalanced. The imbalance occurs in the left child's left subtree, and so we do a right rotation. <coughs> the right rotation is going to bring the 22 down around the 18. There we go. Right rotation. Make sure you note what kind of rotation we have to do. So just like we've seen before, we're going to end up with our 22 being the right child of the 18. The 21 becomes 22's new left child and 43 is the right child. And the 6 now is um, the left child of the 9, where it should be. So is this tree balanced? We've got from on the 9, we've got 1 and 0. That's OK. On the 18, we've got 2. And we can either go 1, 2, or 1, 2, and 2. And so we've got a balanced tree. Next, we add the 8. Here's our tree. The 8 is less than 18. It's less than 9, but it's more than 6. And so the 8 comes in here. Is the tree balanced? The 6 has 0 and 1. That's OK. The 9 has the longest path to a leaf from the 9, has two edges on the left and zero edges on the right. And so this tree is imbalanced at the 9. How do we fix it? The imbalance is in the left child's right subtree, so we need to do a left-right rotate. Our left-right rotate is going to bring our 6 and make it the left child of the 8, and it's going to bring our eight and make it the right child. Sorry, our nine and make it the right child of the eight. So we're going to end up after doing a left, right, rotate. We're going to end up with a balanced tree again. Make sure you note what kind of rotation you have to do. Make sure that your tree is balanced. Here, our 18, our longest path is 2 on the left and 2 on the right. Now, next, we add a 20. And our 20 is bigger than 18. It's less than 22, and it's less than 21. And so we're going to end up with our tree looking like this. Is this balanced? Again, we start counting from the bottom. The 21 has 1 and 0. The 22 has 2 and 1. That's OK. And the 18, the longest path, is 3 edges on the right and 2 edges on the left. And so that's balanced as well. So this is still a balanced tree. Next, we add 63. 63 is bigger than 18, it's bigger than 22, it's bigger than 43. And so we end up with our tree looking like this. We 
We're adding 63. Is this tree balanced? We've added our 63. Our 43 has 1 and 0. That's OK. Our 22 has 2 and 2. Two left children, two right children. And our 18 has 3. And there's two different paths. We can have three edges down here. Or we can have three edges, 1, 2, 3 here. Two different paths, but still the same number of edges. So our height here is 3. And our height on the left is 2. Again, there's two different ways that we can get it, but it's also 2. And so this tree remains balanced. Next, we add a 50. And I'm going to erase this so that I can add my 50. My tree is going to grow to be beyond the height of my screen. So here's our tree. Before we add the 50, we're adding 50. 50 is bigger than 18. It's bigger than 22. It's bigger than 43. It's less than 63. And so it comes down here. What's our height now? Our height for the 63 is 1 and 0. Our height for the 43 is 2 and 0. And so we have an imbalance in the 43. Our imbalance is in the right child's left subtree. So we have to do a right-left rotate. When we do that, we're going to bring the 43 down to be the left child of the 50, the 63 will be the right child of the 50. So our tree will end up looking like this. Our 50 is the median value. 43 is the left child. And 63 is the right child. Let me rewrite that. Let's put it up here so that we can keep adding more numbers. We have our 18 is our root, 8, 6, and 9, 22, 21, and 20. Then we have our 50, which is our median value, our 43, and our 63. Is that tree balanced for an AVL tree? Is that balance for an AVL tree? Our height here is 1 and 1. Our height at the 22 is 2 on the right, 2 on the left. That's OK. Our height here is 1, 2, 3 on the right, and 2 on the left. And so that's OK. We're still balanced for an AVL tree. Now we're going to add 62. 62 is bigger than 18, it's bigger than 22, it's bigger than 50, it's smaller than 63. So our tree becomes
like this. Is this balanced for an AVL tree? Our height at the 63 is 1 and 0. That's OK. Our height at the 50 is 2 on the right and 1 on the left. So that's OK. Our height at the 22 is 1, 2, 3 on the right and 2 on the left. So that's OK. And our height at the 18 is 1, 2, 3, 4 on the right and 2 on the left. And so that's not OK. So we're imbalanced. Our imbalance is in our right child's right subtree. And so we're going to do a left rotation. And we're going to do a left rotation of the 18 around the 22. So just like we've seen before, the 18 will come around, the, the 22 will be the new root, 22's left child will be 18's right child, and we'll go from there. Okay. So our tree ends up becoming 22 is the root, 18 is 22's new left child, and the 21 and the 20 are 18's right child. The 8, the 6, and the 9 stay the same as they were. And our 50, 63, 62, and 43 also remain the same. Is that a balanced tree? We've got 1 and 0 here. We've got 2 and 1 here. We've got 1, 2, 3 on this side. On the left tr tree, we've got 1 and 1. We've got 2 and 2. And we've got 1, 2, 3 and 3. And so now we remain balanced. Finally, we're going to add a 51 to the tree. Here's our tree. We're going to add 51. 51 is bigger than 22. 51 is bigger than 50. 51 is smaller than 53. And 51 is smaller than 62. So it becomes our new 62's left. Is this a balanced tree? We've got a height of 1 and 0. We've got a height of 2 and 0 here. And so we have an imbalance of the 63. The imbalance is in the left tree's left subchild. So we're going to do a right rotation. Notice that we always mark our rotations. Here we did a left rotation. So that we know what's going on. And in this case, we have 18, 8, 6, and 9. Our 21 and 20 remain the same. Our 50, 43. And here we end up with 62, 51, and 63. After this rotation, are we a balanced tree? Let's test. We've got a height of 1 and 1. That's OK. We've got a height of 2 and 1. That's OK. We've got a height of 3 up here. On the left tree, we've got a height of 1 and 1, a height of 2 and 2, and a height of 1, 2, 3, and 3 here. And so we end up with a balanced AVL tree. At no point is any difference in height greater than 1 um, for any node. And so we've balanced our AVL tree. When you do this in an exam, when you do this in an interview, 
Make sure that at the end, your tree looks balanced. Um, make sure that you know whether you do a left rotation, a right rotation, a left right or a right left. And make sure you draw out all of the intermediate trees. It's really easy to get lost when you're building all of these trees. And there's plenty of paper available. So just make sure that as you're going through, you write out all of the intermediate trees.